Hi everyone. Today is reading for Thursday, January 28th. You are going to need your big skinny reading book and two workbook pages, um, 135 front and back and 137 front and back. 135 front and back and 137 front and back. 135 and 137. It should be in your packet. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is turn in our reading books to page 74 and 75. You're gonna read from your book and I'm gonna read from up here. Remember the genre is nonfiction. It's gonna tell us true facts long ago and now. Okay, you read from your book. You point to your book, that's important. You point to your book and you read with me. What was life like long ago? In some ways it was the same as today, but in many ways it was not. Today we ride in a car. It is a fast way to go. It is fun to take a trip with mom and dad. But a long time ago, People rode in wagons. It could take a long time to get places. Okay, if we did a Venn diagram on this, now would be we ride in cars. Long ago would be they rode in wagons. And in the middle, what we have the same would be we both rode places or took trips. Turn the page. These days we have many things to help us at home. This is how food is kept fresh. This boy can get a snack at any time. Because he uses a refrigerator, right? In old times, people kept things cold in a box filled with ice. Men drove trucks filled with ice to people's homes. This man uses tongs to lift a block of ice. Like I said, they would get ice from the river or a water site and put it up in this big ice box and that's how they would keep their food cold because they didn't have electricity. If we did a Venn diagram on this page, it would have long ago they used ice, today we use refrigerators, and in the middle of the Venn diagram in the circle it would say we both kept things cold. Okay, turn the page. Today we can get water at home. This girl can clean up and take a drink at a sink. Long ago, people used to get water at a pump. This girl pumps water while this boy takes a drink. Okay, Venn diagram, long ago they got water from a pump. Now, they um, got water from a sink, and in the middle, we had to get water somehow, right? We both got water. Turn the page. These days, we have machines that help us. This is how we get clothes clean. This boy likes to help. Long ago, getting clothes clean was not as much fun People had to fill a tub with suds and scrub a lot. Then they hung pants and tops on a line and let the sun finish the job. Okay, so if we had a Venn diagram long ago, it would be they used wash tubs to clean and hung their clothes on a line. Today, <coughs> now we use machines and in the middle, what do they have in common? They both kept clothes clean. We do today and they did in the past. Okay, school. What do kids today have in common with kids long ago? Back then, kids went to school just like us. That's what we have in common, that's the same. But lots of schools had just one teacher. Big kids and little kids were in the same class. That would be a contrast, what's different? Today, kids attend class one grade at a time. Which grade are you in? First grade, right? Kids have always liked to play. 
Some games have not changed since long ago. Back then, kids liked baseball and circle games and skating, just like we do today. Kids still like these old-time games today. Which one do you like best? Okay. All right. Reread that story as many times as you can. The more you read, the better you get. If you don't read, you're never going to become a good reader. Okay? All right. So now what I need you to do is get out. Um, your practice book, page 135, Life Long Ago. You're going to tear that out. You're going to fold it right on this line so that this, oh, so that this is the first page you see, Life Long Ago. Go ahead and do that. Oh, I miss you guys being here. Oh, big yawn. Life long ago. What was life like long ago? What did boys and girls do? They helped a lot at home. Turn the page to page two. Girls helped make clothes. Boys helped to plant. I hope you're reading with me. Girls helped make clothes. Boys helped to plant. That was long ago. Page three. Boys and girls fed the hens. They looked for eggs. I bet you some of you do that today if you have chickens. Okay, on the back, page four. Boys and girls still had time to play. They had fun just like you do. Okay, let's read that again. Go back to page one. What was life like long ago? What did boys and girls do? They helped a lot at home, just like some of you do today. But girls helped to make clothes. Boys helped to plant. Boys and girls fed the hens. They looked for eggs. Okay, page four. Boys and girls still had time to play. They had fun just like you do. Okay, we are ready for page 137. Read the story that we just read. Read the questions that compare and contrast what boys and girls did. Circle the words and answer each question and write the word. The boys and girls all, boys and girls both, they all helped or they all planted? Hmm, I, let's pretend I don't remember, which I do, I know the answer. But if I don't remember something, can I go back and look in the story? Yes, I can. The first page says they all helped. This page said girls made clothes and boys planted. So I am going to say that the first answer is helped. Sounds like T, but it's E-D. It's past tense. Okay? The boys and girls all helped. Period. Tall letters are top line, bottom line. Short letters are dotted line, bottom line. Okay, you're going to read these questions and answer. Circle and write the word. And then you're going to upload it and send it to your teacher. And then we are going to talk about syllables. So pause me and finish this. Upload it to your teacher and then you can come back to me. Syllables. Yep. 
my smart notebook up here. Maybe. Okay, syllables. So some words have one syllable. Some words have two syllables. I'm going to write that word on the board. Nope, go away. Syllables. Syllables. Okay, syllables. Some words have one, some words have two, some words have three, some words have four, some words have five, some words have six. I don't know, that's probably a lot, maybe too many. But anyway, some words are really long, they have a lot of syllables, and other words are short and they just have one syllable. So if I say cat, I don't say ca-at, I say cat, that's one syllable. Dog, one syllable. Um, box, one syllable. Chair, one syllable. Let's see some two-syllable words. Um, car, pit, carpet, car, pit. Two syllables or two beats. Car, pit. Um, Kleenex, Kleenex, two syllables. Tissue, tissue. Garbage, garbage has two. Um, three syllables, oh boy. Um, hmm, trying to think of a word with three syllables. Happiness, happiness has three syllables or three beats, okay? All right, um, your names, let's do some of your names for fun, okay? Brooklyn, how many syllables? Two. Ellie, two. Charlie Joe, three. Actually, her name is like two names, so it would be two syllables in the first one and one in the second one. Kinnick, two syllables. Paxton, two syllables. Duke, one syllable. So how many beats? Mrs. is two. Davies is two. Okay? Um... So it's how many beats? So uh, let's do some practice ones here. Rainbow. How many syllables? Rainbow. Two syllables. Where do the syllables, what, where do I separate the first syllable and the second syllable? Where can I draw a line? Rainbow. This is two words put together, right? So my syllables, this is my first syllable. This is my second syllable. Rainbow. Sunshine. Sunshine. Where does my syllable mark go? How do I separate the syllables? Sun, shine. Right, there are two words put together. So the first word is sun, the second word is shine, so it's gonna have two syllables. Sun is the first syllable, 
Shine is the second syllable. Headband. Headband. Head is the first syllable, band is the second syllable. Headband. Um, let's try another one. Um, shoelace. 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 Shoe is the first syllable. Lace is the second syllable. Shoe lace. Okay, we are going to do your workbook page 138. It was on the back of 137, what we just did. We're going to do 138. This side, right? Sorry. This side right here, 138. We're going to do a few together because I think it's kind of hard. Okay. Read each word. Draw a line to divide the word into syllables. Write one syllable on each line. Then circle the syllable with the long vowel sound. That's a lot of steps. So we're going to do this together today. But I do need you to pay attention because it will be on your test. Okay? Sunshine. Sunshine. I'm going to draw a line right there. Sun is the first syllable. So we're going to write sun. Shine is the second syllable. So we're going to write shine. And then we're going to circle the syllable that has the long vowel sound. Does sun have a long vowel sound or shine? Right, shine has long I, so we're going to circle that. Okay? Pancake. The line goes between pan. Pan is the first beat or syllable. Cake is the second beat or syllable. Pancake. Which one has a long vowel sound? Pan or cake? Cake has a long A sound. Okay. This next one is not two words put together, so it's a little bit harder. Explode. Let's listen to that. Explode. How many syllables? Explode. Two. Where do they break apart at? Explode. Right between the X and the P. Explode. Which one has a long vowel sound? Which syllable has a long vowel sound? The O does because the E makes the O say O. Okay? I want you to try four and five all by yourself. Separate it into syllables. Hand shake. Hand shake. Place mat. Place mat. Hand shake. Place mat. Try it by yourself. Put the line where it goes. Write each syllable and circle the syllable that has the long vowel sound. Pause me and try this by yourself and come back to me. Okay, handshake. See if you got this right. If not, you can change it right down the middle. Hand is the first word or syllable. Shake is the second word or syllable. 
Which one has long vowel sound? Yep, the E makes the A say A. This one might have tricked you a little bit. Place mat. Place is our first syllable or word. Mat is our second syllable. Place mat. This might have tricked you because a lot of the long vowels have been over here. But which one is the long vowel in that word? Yep, place, because the E makes the A say A. So we're going to circle place. Okay? All right. You don't have to upload that one because I'll just tell them we did it together. But make sure that you're thinking about syllables when you think of words, okay? Let's do umbrella. Um, brel, uh. Um, brel, uh. How many syllables? Three syllables, right? Um, tomato, tomato. Three syllables. Vegetable, vegetable. Three syllables. Clock, one syllable. Driver, driver. Two syllables. Okay. We are done with Thursday's reading. You did a great job. I will see you tomorrow for Friday's reading. Goodbye, everyone.